Ajit Pai, soon to be former chairman of the FCC, will soon be out of a job. Now, for those of you who don't remember who Ajit Pai is, this is the individual who tried to ruin the internet. He repealed net neutrality after we worked for years to get this accomplished. But thankfully, his effort to destroy the internet was uh, challenged by courts. And for the most part, he kind of lost. And I say kind of because in his repeal of net neutrality, there was a clause that blocked states from enacting their own net neutrality laws. But a court shot that down while upholding his overall repeal of net neutrality. So now you have some major states like New York and California where they have net neutrality and other states where they don't have net neutrality. So the effort to, you know, undo net neutrality, this is an ongoing project for Republicans. Now, if it's the case that Joe Biden does what I hope he'll do and appoint Jessica Rosenworcel to be the next FCC commissioner or FCC chair, I should say, and elevate her from her commissioner status, this would be great for net neutrality because she is a vocal proponent of net neutrality. And so I have no doubt that she would restore net neutrality and they would have the votes on the FCC to do just that. However, knowing that Ajit Pai's legacy is going to be undone, will one ally of Ajit Pai, Brendan Carr, an FCC commissioner currently, is calling on Senate GOPers to stop Joe Biden from making her the next FCC chairperson. So as Raw Story reports, in a recent interview with Neil Cavuto on Fox Business, Federal Communications Commission Chairman Brendan Carr said it would be valuable for Senate Republicans to block President-elect Joe Biden from appointing a new FCC chairperson. That way, the GOP can forestall Biden's agenda in the agency, including restoring net neutrality, so that corporations can't charge companies for any equal presence on the internet. In short, if Republicans win Georgia's runoff elections on January 5th, they could stall the vote for Biden's new pick for the FCC head. If this happens, Biden won't be able to seat someone to help implement his agenda. So ultimately, this is going to come down to what happens in the runoff elections with Kelly uh, Loeffler and David Perdue. If they win, then this could potentially happen. They can block Joe Biden from making Jessica Rosenworcel or anyone else who supports net neutrality the chair and that would preserve Ajit Pai's legacy. This is extremely shady, and understand how egregious this is. You have an FCC chairperson openly calling for the next president to be obstructed, so that way their legacy is intact. And this is a legacy that is extremely overtly corporatist. Repealing that neutrality is exactly what Verizon and Comcast, and AT&T, and all these internet service providers want. And let me remind you that Ajit Pai, he came from the industry. He was legal counsel to Verizon, and then he gets an office, and unsurprisingly, he does their bidding. Overturns the 2015 order that made uh, the internet a utility under Title II of the Communications Act, and now they want to stop that. Knowing that they lost, and Ajit Pai's legacy is about to be undone, this is what they come up with. And it's not like I can say, well, you know, we just need to put public pressure on the FCC to not encourage Senate Republicans to block Jessica Rosenworcel from becoming the next chair, because there was an unprecedented amount of pressure put on the FCC prior to their repeal of net neutrality, but they did it anyway. So I don't necessarily know what can be done to stop them from actually doing this, but I do know that it's disgusting because if... The party who supports net neutrality wins an election and they are blocked from appointing a new chairperson to the FCC, which they know is going to undo what the last chair did. I, like, what do we do? What's our what's our, you know, course of action at that point? I mean, we kind of got a victory when the courts somewhat undid Ajit Pai's legacy. But, you know, it's still it's troubling because we're running out of options, right? We're running out of options, and currently, as it stands, if internet service providers did want to section off portions of the internet and start charging you as, you know, they, they charge you for cable packages and say, look, you don't have to buy the whole internet, but if you want to buy the social media package where you get Facebook and Twitter, there's nothing stopping them from doing that now except for certain states. So do you create specific, you know, packages for markets where they don't have net neutrality, or do you just keep it all the same? Because the biggest markets, you know, California, New York, they do have net neutrality. Look, this is troubling, but regardless, we need to know what they're planning and acknowledge that this all comes down to, 
you know, these Georgia runoffs, because if they can't do this, then you can expect, you know, Jessica Rosenworcel, if she is the new chair, to undo Ajit Pai's legacy. But if not, they could very well be successful here and preserve uh, Ajit Pai's legacy. Now, whether or not Joe Biden can basically uh, subvert their obstruction and just appoint an acting FCC chair, I don't know. But, you know, this is all to be seen. It all comes down to what happens on January 5th. So, um, yeah, this is uh, really infuriating to me.